as with any place that gets a lot of tourists, there are a lot of scams that could exist <laughs> in the city. What are some scams I should look out for? Ask Chad. Yeah, <laughs> Chad, <laughs> if someone tries to hand you something, say no. <laughs> That's essentially like, you know, number one. No, rule number one. Um, yeah. Especially if they try to hand you a CD. I, my, my mission <laughs> is to make sure that no one ever takes a CD from a guy handing them a CD. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, this big scam, the way that this works is there is someone who will hand you a CD. They will tell you the CD is free. They'll ask you, what's your name? You'll say, oh, my name is Chad. And then they'll sign it. They're like to Chad from man with a CD and they give it to you. And then they say, that's going to be $40. Yeah. And you're like, you said it was free. And they're like, oh, but now it's signed. And it ends up like getting really, really unpleasant. Sometimes they even call the police over and insist that, that you fork over that money. Um, so it just, just say no. And the truth is that if you are somebody in the music industry trying to make it, you are not handing out CDs to random people in Times Square. <laughs> you yeah. are like putting that on like MP3s, digital, like trying to target people in the industry. The biggest scam, those CD guys. Um, same thing with, I call them faux monks. They're not real monks. If you ask them what their temple is, they cannot tell you the temple. They will hand you like a token. You'll take the token. Sometimes it's a bracelet. They'll then ask you for a quote unquote donation. Yeah. Um, so say no to that. It's not necessarily a scam, but the people who dress up as the characters in yeah. Times Square, um, they will, they will want a tip from you if you, uh, pose with them. So I say just if someone approaches you and hands you something or is like, take a photo with me, say, say no. Yeah. 